it's the UAP Season 73 Volleyball. Adamson smarting from that loss in set number two, coming back more determined in set number three as they took full control and established the biggest lead of 10 points before finishing it off 25-15. But it's almost the same story as the second set, but with a different ending. Uh, also in that second set, Adamson uh, pulled away with a big lead and then Yui tried to come close and eventually winning that set. But this time in the third set, Adamson made sure UE is not going to come close. And it didn't help also that Dizon had a lot of attack errors. Caballero also on her part. Instead of uh, being um, a support group for uh, Kitero Sale, yun pa yun, errors pa. And uh, Kitero Sale, again, trying to do things on her own. But uh, it's again, you know, it's not going to be enough if, if it comes from a single player, especially that in volleyball you rotate. So na pumunta din yun sa back row for defense. So you, you, there should be really at least two more players to help her out and score points. As you eat really not that far in the attack output with 10 and 13 for uh, Adamson. At the blocking department, Adamson having three points. Ito nga yung UE again with those errors, but uh, at, uh, Adamson had also five of their own. Pero kasi if it's a close game, syempre yung mga errors na yan with the uh, take install, it eventually it will matter kahit yung maliliit na difference. Saka yung momentum, eh, no? natitigil yung swing, especially if, you know, and, and the morale. Frustrating yung attack error. It's very frustrating, especially yung alba, sunod-sunod yung attack errors mo. Ang hirap bumawi if you were this fighter. Well, speaking of bawi, that is definitely what's on the mind of the Lady Warriors as they take on Kinlog and the Lady Falcons. Looking to close it out in this set. Kinlog on the line, waiting for the game to start. As our referees check the positions of the girls. You know, we've got to be impressed with our first and second referees, you know. They really keep a sharp eye on the position of these players, you know, so that everything is played fairly. Kasi kailangan coordinated ko ano yung nakasulat ng sa paper na starters at yung position nila inside the court. Otherwise, error kagad yan. Violation as you Speaking of errors. Yes, speaking of errors. Kid Log with an error on the serve to start off this fourth set. Definitely not gonna make Mami Dulce happy. Oh, well, that's right on the line. That's right. Almost an error, but uh, it got the line. So Pono, <laughs> just too happy. Pono, Pono knew she made a mistake there. And uh, she just got away with a uh, lucky drop of the ball. Soriano blocked. Pineda on the second touch. Ortega. Here's Nebrida. Or oh, this close to the net. Ortega dug up by UE. Oh, Soriano, good coverage by UE to start their defense here in set number four. Free ball for the Lady Warriors. Almaceda, nice first ball. Dizon, better start to Dizon here, but it is returned by Adamson. <laughs> Saved by Benting and Vasquez. Oh. Great exchanges shown to us by these two teams and it ends with Caballero with a swipe taking that point. What a start for UE here, Mozi. 3-0 in set number four. We will say that Adamson coming into set number four as we listen to Nico Ramos. 
Eric and Mosey, you would think that after such an impressive set like that, a coach would be fully satisfied with their players. However, uh, much as you guys have said earlier today, it's a different case when your coach is an educator. And that's exactly what Mommy Dulce is always trying to teach her players something new. And in that last huddle, she was talking to Sheila Pineda. Uh, Mommy Dulce not too happy with uh, Sheila's uh, errors in that uh, last set. Well, some of them were uh, not so noticeable considering the big lead of Adamson. However, Mommy Dulce was saying, kapag dikit yung laban, malaki yan. At hindi lang siya parang big deal ngayon. Pero big deal yan kapag malaki yung kalaban at mahirap ang kalaban natin. So she's looking and asking more from Sheila here as she's not the only, as Bowser Yana is not the only Adamson Falcon that's quiet today, guys. Thanks, Nico. Good that you pointed that out, you know. Because we were singling out si Pao Soriano for not being as aggressive. Pineda as well, you know. We uh, did see her score some points, but not as much as we would want her to be athletic yeah, and as skilled as she is. That's right. But you have to remember, I think Pineda is a rookie for uh, Coach Minerva. Now oh, it's her second year. So, siguro nga, a little bit of expectations. Mm -hmm. Expectation on the uh, side of Pineda. Out of Rizal Technological University. But of course, uh, Pao Soriano. We've seen her since her freshman mm -hmm. year. And uh, we on. wanted uh, so much from her every single year. Pang third na rin yata nito ni Pao Soriano. So, kaya nga may, yun, yun, yun yung expectations na sinasabi natin from uh, Pineda and Pao Soriano. And ever since her first year, I mean, Pao Soriano Oy, displayed the skills eh. of you know, a, a junior or a sophomore at least. Free ball para sa UE. Ooh, barely oh. making it from Angela Benting. Sa Java yun. Pao Soriano. Better defense by UE, you know? Oh, oh. Nekrida. She's been off her game today. It's right from defense to offense. This time... We put the spotlight masado on uh, Dizon and Caballero. Nebrida also contributes offensively and today. She has also been very quiet. Imagine kung nag-work si Nebrida, si Dizon, Caballero, That's along with Rosale. It's a strong, totally different team. Oh, diff totally different. And for more about UE, let's uh, check in with Erin Torrejon. You know what, guys, in that last huddle, it was more than obvious that the Lady Warriors have a lot to work on with the number of instructions Coach Vanji gave out. And it all started with her telling the girls in red that they really need to stop playing catch-up in this game and for a change, they should dictate. And that the only way that they can keep this game going is by actually attempting to get the ball instead of just standing around and watching the game. Meanwhile, one thing that the Lady Warriors have yet to master in this game is really to keep the communication with one another going. So as to result in better coverage. This is something Coach Vanji kept repeating and really wants her girls to follow through on in this fourth set. And the final instruction for the Lady Warriors, meanwhile, is to basically just try to relax and breathe in and out anytime they start getting tired. Eric and Rosie. Thanks, Aaron. Well, they're starting off set number four on a uh, better note here. They're not going to be able to the instructions of Mami Vanji. You know, um, Wag naman kayo coming from behind all the time. Yes. Kayo naman mag-lead. It's hard. It's always playing catch-up. Yes, well, sometimes you'll catch up, but most of the time, ang hirap bumangon from, let's say, a pinpoint lead, pinpoint deficit. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the rule. Where were these Lady Warriors in set number one as uh, right now, Yugi is up by three in set number four, eight, five. You know, may kita agad natin how effective UE can be if they get their points from other other people, other ladies than Rosale. Right. Lamang agad sila ng tatlo dito with Kite Rosale not even being involved offensively for UE. And you know what? You rest Rosale. Yun ang maganda doon. Habang yung iba naman nag-score, si Rosale napapahinga din. And uh, kanina, uh, during the third set, I, I could Mario see her panting. The mukhang pagod na. But now, ito, mukhang okay na naman siya. Fresh pa, no? Yes. Um, and plus, let's say she's in front and Caballero, with Caballero. Pwedeng maging decoy si Rosale. Oh, Alam mo, definitely eh. one or two blockers will so, just focus on Rosale alone. So that leaves, baka wala na ang blockers for Caballero. So she'll have a much easier time going for her attack. Ortega not picking that ball up. 
Lamang na ng apat ang UE, their biggest lead of the match against Adamson, if I'm not mistaken. Free ball for the Lady Falcons. Ortega. Oh, and a poor second ball by Bono and wanting to go for a dunk. There are setters who should be given that liberty, you know, to make the decision to finish the play on the second touch. But there are certain players na, I guess, you give that third touch always to your spikers. You know? You're not allowed to finish the play in two touches. Unang una percentage. How well do you do that? In second ball na yun, because it's very Ladies hard. Ladies like Perer, yun. Yes. Allowed na yun. Perfect timing. Oh. Even now, Esperanza is doing That's it. That's true. Oh. Year. But Ponon, Pero, yeah, she, she needs a few more years under yes. her belt to be allowed to close out a play on the second touch. Does she do that also with timing? Pag nakikita mo ang exchanges, at talagang spike, 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 ang tagal, mm -hmm. then you go for That's the second true. ball. Oh, because Ay, nobody's ganun. prepared yes. for it. Smarter, so, make wiser mo, decisions. Ano? Alam mo when to do it. 11-6, UE on top here. By five. What a block. Pineda tries again. Oh, and coverage. Oh, no? Again, we point out how intelligent a player Pineda is. She was blocked the first time. She returns, but this time, kita kita mo ano ginawa, no? Swiping it. Swipe nila sa mga blockers. Because she knows, kung hinataw niya yun, babalik na naman sa kanila. That separates the smart ones. That's true. And it didn't take long, ano? On the second attempt lang, alam niya na yung, yung adjustment na gagawin niya. Because some players, you see them four or five times na keep doing the same thing kahit nabalik nang balik, ano? It's smart sense for you. Diba? Ang pinis mag-adjust, nakaisip ka agad. And the plus, yung babawi, yung attitude na babawi ka agad. Mm. And speaking of Babawe, bumabalik ang Adamson dito. Two straight points for them. Caballero, I don't think that went over. Adamson takes another point. Count by only two, Eric. Again, itong mga errors, bumabalik sa game ng, ad, ng uh, UE. They were up by five. But now, courtesy of these errors, the last one from Caballero, dalawa na lang yung kalamangan nila. Masakit kasi dyan. Humahaba yeah. uh, yung malabit because of your errors. Pineda. Ponon. Back row hit from Rosale. Soriano, that's a good shot from her, but nevertheless, better defense. Excellent defense coming from UE. Rosale at the back row, taking care of things. Even by Maceda. Good exchanges by both teams here. Free ball for Adamson. Chance to kill the ball. Ortega. <laughs> Free ball this time again. Adamson. Soriano. Oh, still playable. Soriano again in the middle. Rosale, excellent job at the back row. Longest rally so far of the match. Ortega. Kept alive by Rosale. Still playable. Oh, what a defensive oh. stance by UE. Soriano with a left hand. Ponon. It's just too bad. Uh, UE is not able to run any plays. But uh, this time, an error on the side of uh, Adamson Ortega hitting the antenna. That's why point goes to UE. Sayang eh. Nadidik ng UE. Pero free ball pa rin ang nabibigay sa Adamson. Kaya yung Adamson yung on the attack, sila on the defense.